to another episode for my Skaven campaign. Do not forget to leave a like and comment down below if you would like to see more tomorrow. And a big shout out to all of my patrons who have been supporting the channel. Thank you so very much. And a big shout out to Bill the Hill who did something very cool. He messaged me about a week or two back and he said, Hey, do you want to use my old card that I'm not using? And I said, sure, that would be a huge upgrade. He didn't have to do it, but he did. And now I have a really good GPU. So thank you very much, man. I still need to get a few other upgrades in the future, like a new CPU, a new motherboard, a new RAM, because I'm still using the old chipset. But at least I don't have to worry about a GPU now. Okay, Squill, I'm going to have you come over here. We're going after Nord, and Oslin won't be able to stop me. So we're going to do that. Now, Storm Vermin. I want at least two of them. I would rather have three. But I would have to wait longer in order to get... Well, hmm. Forget it. Give me one more. There we go. That'll work. Then I'll have a full army. Then he'll be able to help me out. Now we're heading to Norden. Oh, indeed. We're here to conquer Norden. I've got a lot of food. I can always... Darn, I'm one turn away from being able to conquer it. That'll be okay. I'll handle it next turn. And now we're able to get ferocious plants. Very good. So our technology will become better. I could probably use a building or two. Let's go look over here at what I might want to pick up. That would be for an assassin's hideout. I guess it's tier four. That will let me get gutter runners later. That's what I was trying to get for later. Right. And I would be able to get one assassin. Well, that sounds pretty good to me, even though I would rather get public order. Let's go grab that. Three turns for that to activate. Now we can end our turn once again. Let's do so right now. And we can talk about lore. As you might know, the Skaven inhabit a vast underground empire that's, of course, named the Under Empire. They're very creative. The Under Empire stretches across pretty much the entire world. As far as anyone knows, only Ulthuan has no actual Skaven layer underneath it because it's a floating island and all that. Despite being called an empire, it's not really a united nation at all. The Skaven are far too fractured and obsessed with infighting to be able to really cohesively come together. It's why you would have the end times and the Vermintide itself would be such a threat because they would finally be united, which is insane. And of course, they're ruled overall by the Council of Thirteen, also known as the Lords of Decay, which a few of them might even be over a thousand years old, which is quite scary to think about. Valmir, come over here, buddy. I don't mind. Now, let's talk about female Skaven, and then we'll talk about male Skaven. Females are probably barely sapient creatures. They're just gigantic bloated sacks of flesh, much more like a termite queen than an actual female rat. Their only function is to pump out swarming multitudes of Skaven, and I mean a lot of them. The Skaven are by far the most populous species in existence. Goblins can probably come next, I'm sure, but Skaven are really up there. Alright, let's go look over here real quick. There's Norden. We shall take Norden. I wanted to have it last turn, but I'll take it now. Just so we can occupy it like that. Engineering student. Oh, wow. More armor for my warfire throwers and all of those unique technological units. Alright, so what are we going to do for that? We're going to... Okay, underdogs, gotcha. Alarm tunnel, I'll take that. I'll get the docks in a minute. Let's go look over here. I would like to be able to move further in Scar Pit. I think that would be very handy. If I got my Under Empire tunnels. Okay, Covert Checkpoint would also be really handy. So that's a really tough one for me because I also want my tunnels in order to have better defenses. We're going to need better defenses if I fight Kislev. Kislev could be a huge threat to me. I've got my public order already. That would let me at least get Plague Monks, and early on that could be very nice to have. They're a high damaging unit. There's also a Weapon Burrow, which I could instead build over here. I think I will, just to get some new units again. And I'll wait on getting my new wall, because at least I'll be close to my Under Empire, so I can help fight. Alright, so what do we want over here? I've got my Alarm Tunnel, I've got my stuff for that. I could just grab... I don't need another Barracks, do I? Not really, I don't really need that. I could just grab this. It's more income. Might as well. There's really not like too much else that I want here that I can see. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. We'll grab that. And for research, let's go grab... Let's see over here. I want 
always more besides to give more replenishment to my army. That lets me just move back into combat even faster. Norden, we're going to upgrade you to Scrap Heap. Okay. And over here, let's go look at what else I want. I want to get Verminous Valor, so we're going to pick up Thick Skin for right now. That way he's even more durable. We'll spend a turn or two. I'll spend like one turn replenishing, then I'll move over here and get closer to Castle Von Rocken. And we'll be ready in two more turns to have my new army come into battle. We do have a new unit to the name. We're going to call them, let's see over here, the Pepe's. Their little brief backstory. These rats, when charging into battle, have a way of screeching Ree! into battle. Oh, <laughs> jeez. All right. So the male rats of the species are generally smaller than adult humans, although it should be said that their size varies quite a bit depending on their place in society. Slaves are small and malnourished, as you can see in the game itself, whereas you've got the storm vermin, who are either black or albino furred rats, and they're very large. And you've probably seen this too, and you've probably heard this too. They're twitchy and neurotic, but they're not on cocaine or whatever. They just live in a constant state of anxiety, meaning that they require vast quantities of food because they move so quickly and they're always stressed out. And they generally have pretty short lives. I mean, they, they live for a decent period of time, like maybe 30, 40, 50 years if you're lucky. If you're influenced by magic technology, if you're influenced by a blessing from your god, then yeah, sure, you could live for a long time. As I said before, some of the Lords of Decay might be over a thousand years old, which for a rat, for anyone really, that's crazy. Yeah, Skaven, man, are comical. They're just a conniving race. Who <laughs> have incredible technology, by the way. Alright, one more turn for that. Over here would be a Doom Engineer. I will grab that later. For Kislev. I think I'll save that for Kislev. All right, so we have Norden. I've got over here the Skittering Waste, which means I think I want to... Oh, yeah, yeah. Here's what I'm going to get. The Under Empire Tunnels. That'll let me move much further when I move through here. Yeah, and a higher chance to evade enemies. So that's what we'll do. I still have money for that Engineer. Okay, surprisingly, I didn't know that I would be able to easily afford that. Only 800 gold, so I'll take that instead. All right, now we can end our turn again. There's not too much more for me to do. So that's what we'll do. Okay, Night Runners. Adepts of assassinating <laughs> night runners. Let's see, night runners who somehow managed to survive the most suicidal missions. Each skaven warrior in this group approaching the time for them to become night leaders, in which they would each lead their own unit of night runners. These rats live for blood. The way it shines when it let's see sheds on the ground puts them in a sort of frenzy, and they throw their projectiles at their enemies like there is no tomorrow, just to, just to see another splurt of blood. Thus, they were named the adepts of assassinating for their thrill for blood. Ah, okay. And that was put in by Graceful Dancer. And then we'll have an, another backstory in just a minute. Yeah, if you want to name units, don't forget, it's all on Discord. You can hang out there, say hey to me, say hey to people. 3D portholes. I haven't used those in a long time. In a very long time. You can see where my empire is growing. Oh my god, I'm growing. It's great. I get the shivers. The Imperial shivers. I'll just like replace all the Imperials, we'll all just dress up like them. Instead of Emperor Carl, it'll be Emperor Emperor Snarl. Alright. So you have a castle, Mr. Vorkov. I'll have to take it. Do forgive me. That would be my escape voice. <laughs> well, I'm a weird, weird old rat. And I like to talk like this. No, that's strange. I don't agree with that. Look at Scone. Oh, his little 3D portrait's great looking. Okay. Yeah, usually I turn that off to save a few FPS because it does. He's coming. Charge lock the warp smith. He's gonna blow himself up. Tragic. Alright, so now we're going after Castle de Von Rocken. Valmir's like, oh shit. I've made a bad choice, guys. 
That you did. That you did. Smell. Taste battle. Good, good. Because I'm going into battle today. Fight, die for me, me. We're not stopping. I've got things to do. Splinter's cho oh, hmm, Splinter, huh? Let me see if I'll actually. Oh, fine. I'll use your Ninja Turtles reference. I usually try to kind of avoid referential things, but I'll use it. Graceful dancer from Discord. <laughs> Now we get to wait a minute. Castle von Rocken. We're probably gonna hit like one part of their wall. We're gonna use our artillery to really put a dent in their numbers. If we go look at it right now, I have a few corners. Okay, good. There's a lot of trees. Trees are nice to have. A lot of trees. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna have a few of my clan rats get ready to go up there and die for me in glorious rat combat. Rattle combat. Okay, slaves. You're gonna be over here dying for me. Do a good job. Artillery, you're gonna hit something, I'm sure. Rat ogres, I don't know what I'm gonna do with you yet. I haven't decided. We're gonna try to break our way in somehow. I don't know how we're gonna do it yet, but we're gonna do it. I believe, I believe. But I have wings and I can fly. That's probably from all the warp dust I've been inhaling lately. Alright. So let's move. Right over here. Artillery, why don't we hit right over here and get rid of a tower? At least one tower, right? Yeah, you don't need to die. Come on. Come on. Come over here. Come over here. 20%. Okay, so we can at least get rid of like maybe like one tower. That would be really nice. I just don't want all these damn towers destroying my units. I think that's rather understandable. Oh, we do have a mortar, and I don't like mortars, so let's go kill them. Hi! By the way, there were rats. You had a rat problem for years. You just didn't know. Great swords will easily go get them. We're gonna go into a zoom in mode in just a little while. Oh, I like that green glow on the tower. It's pretty nice. Very accurate salvos too. Wow, each hit, wonderful. We'll need a good name for the plague. All oh, right, right. It's called plague claw. I don't know why I just called it plague. Yeah, the plague claw catapult. We need a good name for that. We at least got rid of the mortar crew, so that's really good. I wish I had the warp bombs. The warp bombs would be excellent. To have. Alright, so we're going after the fort tower. The fort tower has no chance of holding up. But we are indeed going to take these walls. Go over here. Oh my god, since I turned up the graphics a bit, this looks really sharp. But shooting me! Oh, they've already killed eight. They're gonna slaughter my poor rats. All of you, get over here. Go kill these handgunners. We just gotta mix up now. There we go. But look at how good it looks. My god. Such detail. It looks so much better than usual. I haven't been able to turn things up for quite some time. Alright, one more salvage and then we'll have taken them out. We at least, again, took out the mortar crew. If they come back, there's like very few of them. They might be able to man like one or two at most, which is nice. It's a nice change. Gone. Okay. So now we're going to use our artillery to hit over here. Kill these crossbowmen over there. Alright. Because after that, I'm going to send in more rats. As one does. So we've already captured a decent amount of what they have over here. So let's go now. I'm going to bring in my bigger creatures and Squill. Squill needs to come in. Got some rats back here who can fight again. I'm going to leave them back here to kind of lure them out. If you miss a shot and you hit back here, that's even better. Hey. There we go. 
I've already killed 42. It's a decent amount. Now that they're all grouped up fighting me on the walls. It's going to be a long, long fight, but dear God, are we going to win it today. What a beautiful, beautiful fight. Artillery's doing an excellent job. Six kills now. Again, if they miss and they hit some halberds back here, they get splattered. This wasn't my fault. This was their fault for choosing to come after me like that. We're bringing some rats to go fight them from behind. They should enjoy that a lot. They won't. <laughs> they won't enjoy that at all. I was only kidding. Alright. Go get some telltale tellers to go over to the... Yeah, gatehouse. There we go. Let them climb up. We're going to get these handgunners too. They're shooting. They're having a nice time. Ratlick's recreants. They're up on the wall. We all have backstories for these units. So it's always a lot of fun to kind of find out more about them. Slave catchers are over here. Let's push in too. Artillery has a few more to go, but uh, we've gotten a great deal of them. That's very nice. I'd like to go hit some others that are like behind, like maybe this group over here. Change up a little bit. Ooh, hitting the greatswords would be the ideal scenario, though. Greatswords are nasty. We could actually, yeah, let's focus on the greatswords. I don't want to get hit by them. Oh, those are outriders. Okay, well, come over here. Let's go fight. We'll kill some outriders. I don't care who dies today. Oh. That was very nice. You've gotten 17 kills. Hey, good work. You haven't hit these great swords yet. That's what I wanted you to really hit. That's why we need some technology. It's given her fun. Alright, gates are destroyed. Let's send in some friends. Oh, those are great swords. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I guess we will send in some to die. Let's get my slaves in. Slaves, let's go. We're gonna start moving in some more of our rats. Group one actually did a great job taking the wall. 81 great swords, okay, so we did hit a few more of them. Now we're looking at 77 great swords. We kill more outriders. Alright. Slaves are moving in, then we're gonna move into Rat Ogre, Storm Vermin, and Squill. Bringing in a lot today. That's a lot of great swords. All right, they're out. They did their part. My Yeet Masters are at 24 kills. Pardon me, free company militia. Can I help you? What are you doing here? Oh, we're definitely not going to win over here. We're just keeping them busy at this point. They're actually keeping me back with their nice formation. Very nice. Good for them. They've killed 38. That's a lot. All right. Time for me to move in. Uh, come on, slaves. Let's go. I'm going to bring in the big stuff. And then I'm going to bring in some rats over here after this free company group. They're getting too many kills. They've got a perfect location to fight me from, so time for me to kill them. There we go. They're hitting way too many of my rats from behind. It upsets me. Upsetting spaghetti. Alright. Big creatures are moving in now. What are you doing? What? Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Pathfinding. Why? Why you do this to me? Squill's meant to be there with his large creatures. Got all these units that are still waiting to move in. I gotta make room for them to be, to be able to move in. Really. They come over here, go climb on the side so you can go hit that group of crossmen. There's only 31, but they need to go. And my Rat Ogres thankfully have a huge charge, like much larger than they probably should have ever. But with all of our boosts, because we're Clan Molder, baby, I get to take them on. And I get to buff up everyone over here. All right, fine, fine, help them out on the wall. Oh, that animation, oh God. Will's like, I will fuck you up, human. And he did. Like that. 
You think this is a fucking game? I'm a rat. I'll eat you. And he did. Oh, that was a nice little spin there, guys. I'm sure that won't get you killed. Oh, look at the battle that happened back here. They were a good distraction. Still fighting on the walls. I don't think we're going to be able to win on the walls, but... I mean, with Squill up here, we can definitely win over here, but I just meant like where their heroes are at. That's going to be a rough one. Unless I can actually get on the interior and finally beat these guys. That's really the big goal. Try to beat these guys. Oh, you hit my wolf rat. I didn't realize that you had that tower for a minute. Okay. The masters are at 43 kills. Come over here. They've got 33 kills. Let's go kill this group of crossbows. Shot enough of my friends. Small group of rats going out to crossbows. Looks pretty good. God. These battles are brutal. I wouldn't want to be eaten by a rat. Fuck that, man. It has 62 kills. Oh, yeah. I'm not worried about swordsmen. We're just trying to break in here so that we can actually move and do something else. Let's come over here. Let's go kill these spearmen back here. Buff them all up again. My help hit tailbiters are getting wrecked right now. But it looks like we are finally pushing back. Very nice. Got some rat ogres moving in over here now right behind them to help out my other clan rats. Oh, I know we're going to lose some, but it's time. Time to hit. It. Let's bring you over here. All of you. Let's go. I can finally bring in the rest of my army. I've been waiting to do this for a while. Let's go. Okay, now we can get Squill. Keep on hitting these halberds. You're killing my poor help hit cell biters. Very, very rude. We can come over here and wipe out the rest of these other free company men. Oh, yeah, those outriders. They probably have a lot of kills. Oh, yeah, they do. They even have a group of great swords back in there still. Yes, Squill has killed 75. If you give him time, he's going to beat a group. It's just... Oh, over here, 73 kills for uh, Jovi Nutbacker. I'll take a minute for all my rats to get inside, but when they do... Okay. Let's come over here now. Or we can wait a minute. I haven't decided yet. Hold on. Hmm. That might be sufficient. I might wait for like a few, but let's get my slaves over there. Wolf rats, go attack something. Squill is going to take care of what's here. This little group of halberds, they're not going to be able to beat Squill. Squill is so fucking tough now. He doesn't get kills quickly, but you give him time, he'll kill. Oh yeah, those great swords have been doing a great service for them. Let's come over here actually hunt and help out a little bit. Because I feel like I need to buff them up a bit, so we're going to do that. I'm still waiting on my other units to kind of group up. Let's go in now. I'm going to bring in my specials. Let's go over here. Let's go fight these great swords. 54 of you left. Let's bring you over here. You'll come after whoever. I knew it would be a tough fight, but this is ridiculous. Wolf rats come over here. We'll go after this group of handgunners. Yeah, buff them all up close by. Oh yeah, there we go. Now that now that Squill is here, look at all the rat bodies. They had been fighting here forever. Now that's a true Vermintide and a last stand. That's such a cool scene, just watching them slowly get pushed back. I mean, now they're beginning to break because Squill, Squill just popped in from behind. And he's just like, yeah! Because <laughs> rats make awful sounds. <laughs> I'll kill you! <laughs> Hot rats are weird. Anyway, I'm having too much fun with that. Go over here, boys. Let's go. Yeah, all of you come over here. You can help out too. You wanted the wall. Squill finally beat them. Not backer killed 126. Of my poor Skaven. Yeah, group one got messed up. Only one group of the recreants remains. Group two. I think one group was either eradicated or I don't know. I don't know. Okay, we won. Ah, oh, bloody, awful victory. Ours.
No siege equipment, man. Just had to go in and start punching people. What's in the battle? Nine hundred lost. They lost fourteen hundred. Did we lose any group completely? I don't believe so. Cool. It was close. It was close. That's why, like, I usually give like people two names. Eighty six, eighty one, forty five kills, thirty seven, one twenty eight for Squill. Huh. Everyone got at least one kill. All right. I'm taking over. I lost a little majority of my food. Okay. Potion of toughness for Squill. Very nice. But I now have Castle Von Rocken, not even the capital. But we're getting closer. I am going to build up my alarm tunnel. I am going to build up that platform. And we're nearly at tier three, so I almost want to get that, but I need to work for it to really make it worthwhile. Let's keep on looking. We can get something else. Hold on. Yeah, I suppose it makes a bit of money. So Oslin has lost two more locations. We now have Norden and Castle von Rocken. We can go get Wolfenberg and have a gold mine. Oh my god, all that extra money. Okay, I gotta go rename these units real quick. Let's see. We got Anups of Assassining. <laughs> Alright. It's a weird one. Then we got Splinter's Chosen. Many, many kills today. <laughs> Alright, let's end a turn and talk about them. The most numerous of the assassins of Clan Eshin, warriors that occupy the lowest social position within their clan, yet are no less dangerous in their tactics of warfare, nimble and quick, even warriors that have survived the apprenticeship under the tutelage of Master Splinter himself, and have since risen to occupy the, the third tier within the Cutthroat uh, Society of Clan Eshin, but have yet to reach the ranks of the Gutter Runners. They are elite skirmishers and scouts, third only to Eshin assassins, and Gutter Runners in the art of stealth and speed. And then I got another name. Nurgle's Nibblers. <laughs> we'll check it out for sure. In just a minute. Another one by Milk Me Mommy, who wrote it for Viper the Heretic, who's a new member of the Discord. Dagobert Gladshitter. Glad I wonder if he'll try to fight me. No, no, he's going back home. He's like, yeah, I'm going to stay home. I've got so many hostile foes near me, though. But if my one army can do all this damage, I wonder what my other army can do. <laughs> it's going to be nice. I'm not going to wage war on two fronts. I feel like that would be a bad idea. Back to me. Okay. So I've got to get more food. I'm, I have a penalty now. But uh, let's see, we're not going to go over here yet. Not yet. It's not time for that. Open. It will be, but not yet. Alright, Skon, I'm going to bring you down. You're coming down to help me. Let's get a move on. I don't want to directly move into their lands. That would cause some issues. Some issues. We'll briefly go into their lands. As if they would know. Come on, I'm a rat. I'm in. Alright. Skon's close to us now. Ready. We'll use the underway to kind of get over there. All right, charge lock. I want you to come down. I'm, I might have you go through Wolfenberg just to mess it up. Okay. That makes things cheaper for local armies anyway. Kind of combat some of the taint in the local area. Yeah, we're still trying to get this cheaper buildings. That to me is always important to have. Cheaper, cheaper buildings. And then we can change it later, but... Yeah, there's my under empire tunnels. Fantastic. I probably should have moved on that side. That probably would have been a little bit faster, but I have no idea. All right, we're about to have driven by hunger, so we'll get more post battle loot, better clan rats whenever I recruit them, and now we can end our turn again. Done, done, done. All right, this group of disgusting bio weapons were once slaves of clan pestilence, or pestilence, 
surrounded by disease and decay, they soon realized that they loved that environment. And so they set out on a journey to become plague monks. However, society was on their side and they could not progress up the hierarchy. Defeated, they slept in their burrows where the voice of Nurgle greeted them, offering them the power to become what they had worked for. They took this offer and their bodies instantly began to change. Bulls appeared on their flesh. Patches of fur began to melt away. But despite this, they loved their new forms and set off again on their journey to become the filthiest rats that ever lived. Gross. I heard they don't wash their hands. You seek favor of the horned one, yes, yes. A peace treaty. Ah, funny how that works out, huh? No. They're friendly with Kislev, so there could be a war soon with Kislev. Oh, critical failure. Very nice. That's even worse for them. Could you imagine that? Wanting a peace treaty being told no, and then bam, you lose that. That's really rough. That is really, really rough. I feel bad for them, son. Now we're just waiting a minute for another big fight. But I am going to take that gold mine. Brass Legion likes me at least. If only they own some more lands of here. But nope, they're kind of kept where they're at. And getting more replenishment is always a good thing for me. All right, so we're going to move over here. My Doom Engineer will... Oh, God, yeah. Here we go. He's coming. Good luck. Oh, well. It won't turn. It won't turn, which is fine, because I'll be besieging next turn after he's fully replenished. We have bigger garrisons in all of our little towns that we now own. We're bringing up corruption. We have some money. I mean, I do have two full armies, so I do understand if I can't afford everything that I want. How's my growth at? Okay, let's see. We got oh, surplus of one, three over here. I need four to get the stronghold up. That would not give me my new dock yet. Oh man, those docks are the reason why I'm able to do anything over here. It's pretty great. Public order is not great here, though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's usually not. Can't really fix it, can I? Not really. Slaves, corruption, difficulty level. These are all things that can mess me up, so. We'll just have to get more food, because right now I've got a penalty of, well, it's only minus one, but if I get at least that plentiful food, it's all it's all good. Leadership is down by five now. That's pretty substantial for rats, man. I'll take that. Let's end our turn. Because in one turn, we finally get to fight the battle, the big battle. That might work out. We should be able to beat them. Yeah, we should have like one more battle in us. I like how there's a little garrison at Zavastra. They're just kind of like looking over the border going, oh shit. <laughs> oh fuck. That's a lot of rats. <laughs> hey queen, the rat problem over in Oslin. No. I don't care if you're getting stronger. You declared war on me. You think that would like provide some type of intimidation factor? If they would actually factor that in, that would be great. They declared war on me. I won the war. You should tell someone. Look at me. I am the human now. A final supper. Oh, well, there's some of my magic. Well, I don't have magic to use, so that works out, huh? All right, let's go. Oh. Killed in the line of duty. What a brave rat. What if it messes up their garrison? I don't really know. But either way, it just took some damage. The walls are done for. There's two breaches. Very nice. Gone. I kind of want you to move in first. We're going to see what you can do with your new rats. Eh, it probably won't change too much, I would imagine. But uh, you do need to go die and train in battle, so we're going to have you do that. I'm going to give you some bio rats in a minute. Hold on. Well, I'll rename them later. Oh, God, it's a, it's a tough one. I'm 
We'll bring in all the freaking rats that we can. It's the only way that we can survive. And then I'm going to bring in good old homeboy over here. And <laughs> we're only slightly better off. Sweet. Okay. Damir von Rokov. We get to fight him now. Once and for all. Amir Von Rokov. Oh man, a custom location too. That's really cool. I definitely dig that. That's going to be an interesting fight now. I'll have to look around. I mean, we'll probably hit like one part of it. I could potentially hit two depending on where we choose to attack from. We could have like one distraction. I don't know if that would be worthwhile or not. Because like, even though it sounds cool, sometimes plans like that just do not work out very well. The actual effectiveness of the battle. The efficacy of that just doesn't always translate well to the gameplay that you have in the game. Even though conceptually it's pretty interesting to even think about or whatever. They do have a lot of outriders, not the best. The grenades could be damaging if I don't try to handle them. I usually try to neutralize them by using rats of some sort, just gonna die in that. We've lost a lot of rats, like our losses are pretty substantial, but we're scaven, that's how it's meant to be. Alright, oh, hell yeah. Okay. Oh, right, right, this map, I remember this map. Okay, okay, so let's kinda think about it. They're gonna be coming over there, so they'll hit over here. There's a gate on that side. I'll just hit maybe on this side, but a little bit closer, like over here. So I think that would work out. I've got a lot of scaven, sure, sure. A lot who can just go up on the walls quickly, by the way, so that's awesome. Okay, so we're just going to take this wall. We're going to take, like, pretty much all of it, I think. Everything that we can. Over here, over here. Alright, can I hide out in the trees? I can. You're not Yeet Masters, so I don't know what I'm going to do with you yet. I haven't decided. Yep, it's going to wait there for now. You'll have that over here. Let's, um... Group up everyone, I suppose. Scorn's going to... Charge in eventually, but yeah, let's just go. Come over here too. If you want to do some stuff, why don't you take out... I mean, we, we've already taken out like one fort tower. There are some gaps in the wall, but I'm just going to go climb up over here. Now we have a lot more rats on the way. Now where are these gaps at? Let's see. Gatehouse is still here. I'll probably just go after their gatehouse, I, I think, with like army too. Let's break that down. Just for the hell of it. Let's go. Will will lead his own army. There we go. More rat ogres are coming. More rat ogres are coming. Squill's got his own thing going on. Come on, Squill. Let's go. All right, let's go find out if they have any like crazy artillery. Oh shit! What are you doing? Oh no wonder the brave strongs were hit by the great swords. Oh shit! Okay, they got to pull back then. That's not going to go well. You'll come over here. you got to pull back. You can't fight that. That's too much. We're going to try to take out at least one tower. We nearly have it. Let's see. What am I going after? Who's getting a lot of kills? Are any of you getting a lot of kills right now? Uh, five kills. Not really a lot. There's a lot for me to go after for sure. Any artillery that I need to worry about? Not well. Yeah, there's a mortar back here. And I'm doing what Skaven do best. Annoy people. Annoy people a lot. If I end up capturing this location, I'll have not done that in an age. But that'll actually be pretty sweet. It'll be a very Skaven-like thing to do. Like, oh, by the way, I just captured your town square. Good luck. Oh, yeah, lead them back over here if you want. I'm going to go have these Slingers move up to go hit these great swords. They'll annoy the hell out of them. All right, so we don't have to worry about too much. Let's go ahead and try to hit these groups of Outriders and other friends they have out there. Just to get rid of them. Night Runners. You know what to do, probably. How many do we have in this battle? Oh my god, we've got so many. Just look at the sheer amount of rats. That's actually a really cool shot. It's like they're just streaming through this village, and the village is like, ah, oh, fuck me. We're done. We're done. 
We got him. So now we can capture what they have here. They're bringing back a group for sure. I could. Oh, wait. I thought they were. Never mind. I don't know what they're doing then. Go bother them. Artillery. Go hit these other grenadiers. You only have three left. Who's been hitting you? Who's? Uh, I don't really know. Anyway. Go hit these guys over here if you want. Alright. We need to go break down this gate. So Penny Stillers, you know what to do. You two just go in. I'm capturing their town square though, so they've only got a finite amount of time. I'm not giving that up. Because no matter what, if I had even only three spawns of Skaven, I could just have sent one over there. Alright, so kill some more of these great swords. I've already beaten Oslin in like so many fights, so I really don't mind. Over here is just a distraction. Alright, we've got Squeal. He's got a potion. No towers have been activated. We're just trying to break down this gate. We've got some swordsmen there, so instead of fighting swordsmen, why don't we grab these two, these three, and Squill. And Squill can go in and fight these swordsmen. That's much easier, I think. Oh, they do have crossbows. I'll go kill them real quick. Or bother them. Yeah, we've captured the square now. So they have a timer. There's a finite period of time where they'll be able to do things. Ready, ready. Night runners. All right, slingers did their part, I think. Those great swords took some serious losses from just a bunch of slingers. Pretty sweet. I'm beating them on the walls. They're pretty distracted right now, it seems. All right, you can go after this big blob. He's died over here. Oh, yeah, that is right. I was wondering. Alright, let's come on over here. You want to go that way? Go that way. You got it. Come over here, actually. Go fight those guys. My poor adepts of assassinating are having a pretty rough time. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Good to see you guys there. Go get them. What I could do from behind is bring in some more. We go fight them. What happened over here? Something weird happened over here. I guess they kind of like rallied up pretty fast. But anyway, let's go after these hand gunners. Oh no, that's free company militia. How many kills? Two kills. Okay, well then go after that crossbow group instead. Some more clan rats moving. They're throwing some splinters chosen. They're getting a few hits. All right, there's three of you over here. Keep on hitting these swordsmen. Look at all the rats I have, though. Wow. Okay, my elites are now going to go towards the main gate. We're going to go break that down. Little did they know, I've got a lot of elites. Wolf rats don't really have a place in this fight. Not right now. One day. Alright, go after these... Yeah, those are great swords. Go kill them. We need to kill some great swords. Alright. Clan rats, they took out those crossbows. Very nice. What's over here? That's some free company militia that we'll go hit. Oh, actually, yeah, let's go hit someone from behind. Will, good work. Let's go over here and kill the swordsman. Uh, we broke down the gate, right? Yeah, yeah. Alright. Get in my special units now. They were meant to have moved in a while ago. Let's go. If there's a great swords or whatever, go kill them. Keep on killing them. Now it's the spears. You got it. Looks like we have it under control though. Nice. Especially with that increase in melee defense. That stops them in their tracks. Man, I didn't realize there was like hair on the freaking rat ogres. This looks amazing. Bye humans. Bye. Alright, we're still breaking down the front gate. Got all my storm vermin moving in. Get all of you down here. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Time to go. Artillery's at 70 kills. Okay, my other one's at 114. Okay. That's my newer one, too. Enemy gates are indeed destroyed. Oh, they did come back, though. Okay, so they did come back to save their uh, own hides. Good choice, good choice. 
I don't care. Just go in and fight. Let's come over here now. Squill, keep on fighting. Squill is not here to play games. I am. The Empire Captain who's up there on that wall. Ooh, it's a messy fight. Okay. Let's see where I'm at right now. Okay, I got a group over here that I can move in. Let's move them over here. Let's go after this group of halberds. So they can move in. We can get everyone over here to go fight whoever's over here. Like this Outriders, Night Runners. Whoever's left, come over here now and fight. If you've got a unit. I've got a job for you. Yeah, this view is actually working out pretty well. I haven't used it really before, but I can see it coming in handy for a like 40 unit fight that I'm fighting right now. It's actually a lot easier for me to kind of make out what I need to do. Sweet. I've never had to use this. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you can see back here, they actually rallied up. Valmir von Rokov is alone with a few of his men who are left. All his other men are just being thrashed. Let's get inside. Go to that captain. Yeah, those clean rights are alive. Yeah, they've got a lot of captains, a lot of agents. I told you to move. Come on, let's go. That's like one guy or two guys there, and they're just getting stoned. Hell yeah. All right. Artillery, why don't you try to hit what's back here? Other artillery, you too. I know it'll take you a bit to move that far, but... Look at all that infantry. That's why I don't need a lot of range units. Not yet. Or you just need very few, because you want to properly defend them, and I can. I can properly defend whatever I want. All right. Now, where's Skon? Skon, did you die? Did I kill Skon? No, no, okay. He's over here. He's killed 29. I was wondering if I killed him or not. Squill's killed 56. All right, let's fast forward a little bit. That's all that we got to do, man. Look at these enemies. Yeah, go after that captain. He's alive, somehow. Pardon me, I told you to go after him, not <laughs> Pathfinding, why you do this? All right, and then over here we got another dude. Go we'll kill him. That free company group's killed 92. Nice work, they did a great job. Still 10, Otter Volkman. Let's go fight. Let's go on and squill, let's go. Night Runners, hey. It's kind of like self-sufficient in some ways. It's kind of neat. Go kill that group of spearmen. They're pretty much done. All right, let's go, everyone. Time for a pretty extreme fight. Uh oh, are you shooting at Squill? Squill's coming for you. Squill gonna make you Squill. Ah. Oh my god, here's the fight, the big fight, it's time. Will does all of his stuff. And a few rats just throw themselves right into the fight. Hell yeah. They're joining in. Two gangs fight, one will emerge. Get out of here, kids. Alright, then I can move a few of you over here if I wanted to. Now, we've won the battle. It's over. He had how many men? Over 2,000. I had over 5,000. I didn't lose too many. He lost a lot. Alright, it's gone. Are you here? Yeah, you're finally here. Okay, go after Valmir. I'm sure you'll quickly break him down. Let's see. Yeah. Sure.
They got him. He's shattered. Everyone's shattered. Battle's over. Big fight. Decisive victory. Valmir von Rokhov has lost the battle. I've been that guy in so many campaigns now. <laughs> it's comical. My Beastman campaign? No, no. No, being hit by two armies like that is very hard to deal with. There's only so much that you're able to do before you're just completely surrounded. You're being hit by too many things. Lost 441 in one army, 208. They just lost a lot. They couldn't really stop me. They didn't have the proper units, the proper format. I just hit them everywhere. They were overextended. They kept having to move back and forth because they were trying to not lose their HQ. It was outmaneuvered. Now eat, swallow defeated. If I do that, I'm in trouble. It is but I'm going to do that. Portents of Verminous Doom. That's a great one. Oh, the penalties are bad, though. I gotta get food <laughs> right away. All right, I'm gonna destroy that building. Well, I'll keep it for now. Or, or, okay, I come over here and I get that gold. It's not as much gold for me as it is for other factions, but pretty cool. Okay. We want that, too. We're gonna go pick up some public order, maybe. We'll pick up some food. I'm, I'm gonna generate food in, like, every location for now. Because I am severely lacking it. My own personal choice of severely lack it, but... Alright, let's see now. Will. Let's give you Verminous Valor. Or against large combatants, gotcha. Like, just large in size is what I'm going to assume? Yeah, anyway. A last chance to escape melee. That's going to be really nice to have. I just wanted to get that ability. I can get whatever now. It doesn't really matter too much. But, uh, let's see here. We've also got Skoln. Contacts me. everywhere. Yeah, that'll be nice. But let's see. Ancient Cunning. Oh, yeah. It's a nice little poison. Lightning Reflex is at rank 9. He's nearly rank 9. That's a ward save. I guess up to 25%. Over here is for assassinating foes. Oh, man. So if I have my assassins follow, they'll have a much higher chance. Yeah. And if you fight Skaven, it causes terror. Oh, that's awesome. The Death Master. Very appropriate for him. And sure, loyalty would be handy for later. But he's at 9 for now, so that's pretty good. Alright, let's go look at what we can give him. Uh, keep what you have. Keep that. Armor piercing damage. You can keep what you have. Shadow. Eh. Magic resistance. We'll give you that instead. Alright. That'll do it for now. Everyone leave a like and comment down below. I look forward to more later. And as always, until then.